Before we get started with the video, let me share with you the best website and app for dating in Asia. Christian Filipina is the best platform to meet a sweet, caring Asian woman. Filipinas are known for their English skills and Christian values, making them ideal partners for Western men who want a fulfilling relationship. Click on the link in the description or scan the QR code above to go to the site. Here's the video now. Thanks, guys. Welcome to the Owl of Asia. In this video, we'll explore what cuddle cafes are, why they exist, and delve into the experiences they offer. We'll also uncover the cultural and psychological reasons behind their popularity and hear firsthand from those who have visited. By the end, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of this unusual yet heartwarming trend in Japan. So let's dive into the world of cuddle cafes. What are cuddle cafes? Cuddle cafes, or swaneya, are establishments where patrons pay to cuddle with staff in a non-sexual platonic manner. These services typically include options like holding hands, hugging, or simply lying next to someone. The concept emerged in urban Japan around 2012, catering to individuals seeking comfort and companionship without romantic implications. The rise of these cafes is attributed to the increasing stress and loneliness experienced in fast-paced city life. Offering a safe and controlled environment, cuddle cafes have gained popularity as a unique means of finding solace and human connection in the bustling urban landscape. Cultural Context The popularity of cuddle cafes in Japan can be traced to several societal and cultural factors. In a highly urbanized and competitive society, Many individuals face intense stress, long working hours, and a sense of isolation. Traditional social structures, such as family and community support systems, are less prevalent in modern urban settings. Cuddle cafes provide a unique solution by offering a safe space for physical affection, which is often lacking in many people's lives. Moreover, Japanese culture places a high value on emotional restraint and maintaining harmony, which can sometimes lead to emotional suppression. Cuddle cafes address this by providing a discreet and accepted way to experience human touch and comfort. This phenomenon is particularly interesting as it reflects Japan's ability to create niche services that cater to specific emotional needs while respecting cultural norms. The blend of modern societal pressures and traditional cultural values makes cuddle cafes a uniquely Japanese solution to contemporary challenges. Customer Experiences People visit cuddle cafes for various reasons, ranging from loneliness and curiosity to stress relief and a desire for human connection. Some visitors are individuals who live alone and crave the warmth of physical touch, while others might be curious tourists wanting to experience this unique aspect of Japanese culture. One visitor, a busy executive, shared how the sessions provided a much-needed break from the pressures of work, allowing him to relax and recharge. Another customer, a foreign student, described the experience as a comforting reminder of home and family, helping them cope with homesickness. These personal testimonies highlight the diverse motivations behind visiting cuddle cafes. For some, it's a brief escape from the rigors of daily life. For others, it's a way to combat feelings of isolation. Regardless of the reason, these cafes offer a unique blend of comfort and connection that resonates with many in Japan's bustling urban environments. Psychological Perspective Psychologists emphasize the essential need for human touch, which plays a critical role in emotional and physical well-being. Studies show that physical touch can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and release oxytocin, the feel-good hormone. Cuddle cafes tap into this need, providing a safe space for experiencing the benefits of touch. However, the psychological effects of cuddle cafes can be mixed. On the positive side, they offer comfort, reduce feelings of loneliness, and provide a sense of connection. They can be particularly beneficial for individuals lacking close personal relationships. On the negative side, reliance on paid affection might hinder the development of genuine reciprocal relationships. Some critics argue that it could lead to emotional dependency or reinforce social isolation rather than addressing its root causes. Therefore, while cuddle cafes offer valuable benefits, it's essential to consider the broader implications on mental health and human interaction. Criticism and Controversy Cuddle cafes face various criticisms and concerns. 
Some argue that monetizing physical affection commodifies intimacy, potentially diminishing its genuine value. Critics also worry about the ethical implications of such services, questioning whether they exploit vulnerable individuals seeking comfort. Global perceptions of intimacy and personal space vary widely. In many Western cultures, paid cuddling services might be viewed as unusual or uncomfortable. This contrast highlights differing cultural attitudes towards physical touch and personal boundaries. Additionally, concerns about safety and consent are paramount, with some fearing potential misuse or boundary violations in such settings. Despite these criticisms, cuddle cafes fit into broader societal trends addressing loneliness and the human need for connection. As urbanization and technological advancements lead to increased social isolation, such services reflect a creative attempt to meet evolving emotional needs. The ongoing debate around cuddle cafes underscores the complexities of balancing commercial services with authentic human experiences. If you found this exploration of cuddle cafes intriguing, please like, comment, and share your thoughts. Would you visit a cuddle cafe? Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into unique cultural practices around the world. Your support helps us bring you more engaging content.